Well, hello YouTube. Here we have ourselves an unboxing video. In front of us here we have a pink and green OtterBox Defender for the iPhone 7. I picked this here uh, case off of an online website. The uh, price um, reflected the country of origin that it come from. When you're used to paying, you know, 60 plus dollars in a retail location for a case, and you pick this one up here for, you know, half or a quarter of that price or so, you question the authenticity or how well the case is put together. So, of course, let's uh, tear on into her and uh, see what it looks like. So, of course, we'll uh, pop her on open, slide her on out. First of all, the you know retail packaging looks uh, pretty close to what you'd find in the store. The uh, case itself looks uh, like what you'd find in the store. It even has the tray that it comes in, as well as the paperwork. So of course, it's got the uh, belt clip, the uh, well clip around swivels. Even has the uh, little you know stand for watching videos, just like. Um, you know, one you'd buy in a store. Popping it out of the belt clip, of course, got a beautiful pink silicone skin as well as the green um, internals. So of course I'm going to cover the differences that I do notice right off the bat between this one and an authentic blue otter box that I bought in a retail location in another video. Right now this is just an unboxing and uh, a first look at a case that I bought online. Uh, if you guys can notice some of the differences from your own iPhone 7 OtterBox Defenders, leave them below in the comments. So of course let's uh, take her out of the uh, skin here. Comes apart, just peels the pink away from the green. Of course, being careful not to tear, you know, the pink or forcing it to peel apart. You got a clip here, clip here, another clip there, a one at the top, one on the side, and one on the bottom, and one at the top here. On the bottom, of course, there's nothing for, you know, clips themselves. So working it apart has definitely the same... Uh, tightness or you know tolerances that an authentic case does have popping it apart uh, both halves look of a decent quality there's a bit of an air bubble here in the uh, back you know felt kind of padding I do notice a difference here over what an authentic one is um, do you guys notice what the difference is on the back of the case, while well, it looks uh, well similar to what you'd find on a retail packaging or retail authentic one does. Putting it back together, while well, it goes together the same way. The uh, silicone skin was a well, a nice uh, bright pink. One thing I will say is uh, if this is a, a copy of an otter box, they have done a really, really good job at cloning one. I've seen uh, copies of Otter boxes in the past that didn't nowhere near have the quality control or quality that this one does. If uh, I wouldn't have purchased this from online and paid uh, what I paid for it, if I would have bought this in a retail store, I would most definitely put my money on this being an authentic um, Otter box. Um, I don't believe it is, just based on some of the things that I have noticed. Again, I will cover these things in another video with a side-by-side -side comparison on a authentic otter box. But pretty much, guys, this has been an unboxing, a little bit of a quick look at a online uh, purchase of an otter box defender for an iPhone 7. Is it real or is it fake? Leave your comments below. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.